Hello everyone, welcome to the messy desk. So as you can see, I'm a pencil board fanatic. So I have here like a dozen or more Hovonichi pencil boards and other pencil boards and yeah, I'm just about to profess my love for Hobonichi pencil boards. So every year Hobonichi comes out with new pencil boards some of them are like collaborations with other franchises or brands like um, this Animal Crossing pencil board and the Inuyasha pencil board and the Astro Boy pencil board and others are just like their plain pencil boards. So every year they come up with like a new colour or two. Like this is the last year, last last year's pencil board. This is also from last year, I think. The years have just blended together and I've been getting more and more more pencil boards over the years, like just a store of, store of them. So this is this year's colour. If you're wondering why some of the pencil boards look like this, it's because I used to leave it by the window and the sun does um, magical things to dyes, I guess. So this part got, got bleached over time, as with these parts. So why do I love pencil boards so much? Let's start with the Tomoe River paper. Okay, so okay, I have a half-bleached pencil board here. been using this for a while now. A bit dark deer here. So, Tomoe River paper is very, very thin. You can see how flimsy it is when I flutter it around like this. And it wasn't so much of a problem previously when I was just writing on regular paper. But with Tomoe River paper and ballpoint pens, I realized something. Here we have. Uh, the Hobonichi Techo ballpoint pen and if I write like this all good but the back page you realize that you see indents from the writing and in the following page you see more indents from the writing and even the page after that you can see a little bit of indent yeah, not so obvious on camera, but I can see it in person, even a few pages down. So, that's the number one reason why you want a pencil board, so that you don't leave indents. So, of course, with the pencil board, there's nothing on the next page. The other reason why you might want to use a pencil board is if you were to do something like watercolour or brush pen using a lot of ink or water otherwise and you don't want it to seep over to the next page. Now that j not just applies to Tomoe River paper but any sort of like non-watercolour paper where it's not built to handle that much ink like a normal journal you would probably want a kind of a separator page. So previously I was doing some calligraphy, I did a bit of watercolour in my journals. So that was when a pencil board came in very handy. So initially I got a couple of pencil boards from AliExpress or Taobao and really cheap ones, plastic. And then when I tried writing on it, I realised that it just doesn't feel good. For one, the surface is quite rough, as you can hear when I do this, versus the Hobonichi ones, where you don't hear much at all. So it doesn't feel nice when you write on it. Plus, it's also harder. I'm not sure how to explain this, but you feel like a lot less control when I'm writing on something like this versus the Hobonichi one. It's just something about the softness and flexibility 
where like this is slightly stiffer and this is more soft and the surface treatment like this is more rough and this is more smooth and somehow I feel that I'm in control when I'm writing with this like this is kind of more similar to if I was writing without the pencil board than versus using this so that's one win for the Hobonichi pencil board. I also have these Traveler's pencil boards and these are in a way it's even worse than this because it's even stiffer and I feel even less control when I'm writing on this. Of course this is, uh, is for the Traveler's notebook size so it doesn't fit this but just using it as an example so the thing about these pencil boards is that they actually last pretty long depending on how you use it so for one the as you can see over here the edges do come off pretty quickly like it's some um, plastic matte material thing that is stick onto a plastic layer like it's sandwiched like this and it does come off after like six eight months of use and this one i've been using for two years so the peeling problem is pretty severe in this corner also something else to note is that because it's a flexible plastic so if you do a lot of tip-ins in your notebook like for example if it looks something like this after half a year or so and then you know if you were to slot it say at the back your pencil board is going to be bent like that at the end of the year when you take it out you're going to see a bent slightly bent i mean depending on how bad the situation with your book is the pencil board will be bent you might have to get a new one for the next year so the good thing is that the pencil boards are not pricey it's kind of really meant to be a yearly replacement kind of thing but if you do take care of it or if you don't stick a lot of things in your hobonichi like i do then you could use it for a couple of years obviously it's not meant to be a buy once and use for your whole lifetime item that's a thin flexible plastic after all and i'm sure eventually the entire front sticker will peel off but you could use it for quite a number of years so i'm a fountain pen user and you can see in this pencil board it's relatively new but it's also been quite stained with my inks so if i write on one page and don't wait for it to fully dry and then i close the page it stains the pencil board obviously but it's kind of nice most of the inks are water soluble so maybe if i wipe it'll just come off but it's a nice collage of the year i couldn't find the i couldn't find my very first pencil board that board is nicely decorated with like ink and even some shimmers and whatnot personally i really really love the hobonichi pencil board i buy a lot of extras i keep a couple on hand for me to use when i'm writing in other notebooks and that's also why i end up getting a whole lot of them like this So yeah, if you are getting a journal from Hobonichi already, I highly recommend the pencil boards. Definitely grab one or more. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.